And now, it's time to preview an upcoming game. Hello, my friends. It's the Game Boy Geek here. Today, we're going to be someone that might have an English literature degree. Um, but we're behind the counter today, working as baristas, right? We're going to be serving drinks to people in line. A fast and frenzy line that's going to be rushing out the door. We've got 10 seconds to do our next move. And it's a real-time card playing, placing, set collection type of game um, where we're going to be making drinks for people as baristas, making them happy, collecting their money, and trying to get our register full with cash. So as we sit back, we smell the caramel macchiato, we've got the steam of the drinks coming up. Let's check out Uptown Espresso. This is a new Kickstarter game that's on right now. Let's check out how it's played, and I'll see you on the other side. In Uptown Espresso, you're trying to be the first person to get $50 in your cash register by creating drinks for people. Now, just like all previews, the artwork that's in the, the prototype that I'm showing you is prototype art. I have seen the final art, and it looks much different from this, uh, and it looks a lot better. Let's talk about how you get money in your cash register and how the game's played. So in the game, there is a timer, because this is a real-time game. There's orders, which is what we just showed you. There's some stuff in the stock room, in the back fridge, and there's some events we'll talk about later. Those are the different cards in the game. At the beginning of the game, everyone is given four random stock room cards and four random back fridge cards, and they're going to set them up in their own little tableau. So here we have a 2x3 grid. It will end up being a 3x3 grid because the order cards are going to go up here. These are the stockroom cards. This line's known as the bar, and they're, uh, they have different things. This is syrup, this is chocolate, and this is sort of a double shot of espresso. And these cards, of course, are the fridge cards, and this is known as your fridge line. And we have ice, uh, whole milk, and fat-free milk. Now, when I put these in this line, I could have put them in any order to start with. And any card that's the same of one card, we're going to put it right on each other. So I got two non-fat milks, two syrups, and they went on. And these are the only the three different types of cards that can show up in either the fridge or the bar. Now, this is a real-time game. Everyone is going to be playing simultaneously, and you can do five different types of actions. But those actions, you're going to try to get them down before this 10 second timer ends. And we'll talk about how this tension adds a lot to the game. Now you can only take one action per uh, sort of timer session. And the first thing you could do is take orders. And what you do is these order cards, you would take and put up to three of them. So you have three of them full and you could put them in any order. It doesn't much matter. And we can see the different order cards. Let's take a closer look. So you might be trying to make a triple tall 2% latte for $4 or a double tall 2% cappuccino for $3. Um, and we're going to do them by trying to get all of our ingredients in the right spot. Another option for an action is to make drinks. And by doing this, you can swap any two piles with each other. Now we see that the syrup uh, needs to be, so we have the 3 by 2 grid here. So this is this row and this is this row and so on and so forth. So we need to get the syrup in the middle and the whole milk on the bottom left. So you can swap any two piles. So I'm going to swap this with that, and I'm going to swap, let's just say, this with that. If there is an empty spot, moving this over is swapping with an empty. So I did two swaps, and now that would be the end of my action. We'd wait for the timer to flip. Now this timer is going to be going the whole time, and when it's over, anybody that's completed an action can flip it over and begin to take a new action. So if you have not completed an action, by the time this timer gets over, well, you've kind of missed the boat because somebody else probably took an action during these 10 seconds, and now they're gonna take another one, so you kind of lose. So you're trying to get your actions done before this flips, and anytime it's down, anyone can flip it back over and start a new action period. And so another thing I could do, let's say the timer was over, uh, now we can actually um, ring up the customer. So we have the syrup in the middle, whole milk on the bottom. So we would essentially trade these in. We would essentially take one of each of them, put them in a discard pile, put this in a discard pile. We would give ourselves $2. The game will be coming with a cash register that you would with a uh, pin where you could keep track of your money. Now we look at these two and mm, I need a whole milk and I need a, a double special. And I only have one of them, uh, one double shot. So another thing you could do on your turn is you can restock. So that is taking uh, any amount of four cards of any of these two lines. Now, I can either take any combination of these up to four total cards, and I can either do it really quickly without looking, if maybe the timer was almost over and I just wanted to grab any cards and be able to take another action once the timer ended, or if it's, you know, if I got some time, I can look at a card and say, ooh, look, 
whole milk. That's what I needed. Okay, so I don't need any more from the fridge now. Let's try to get the double shot. And I go, oh, it's chocolate. That's two. Oh, another chocolate. That's three. Oh, another chocolate. I did not get what I really needed. And so now I have a ton of chocolate. I've got the whole milk. I don't have the double espresso, so I could do this order if I wanted to. Or I could try to get more orders if I want to get something else. The last action you can take is trading. You can say, hey, look, I've got a bunch of chocolates. Does anybody else have a double espresso? You want to trade me a chocolate for an espresso? I might go, yeah. Or they might go, no, give me two chocolates for a double espresso. I might go, okay. And you could trade it and then do it. Now, you're going to be wanting to do this very fast because, again, this 10-second timer, you need to be done before it. Otherwise, you're going to sort of miss an action. Now, if sometimes you'll be able to complete more than one order at the same time, it doesn't happen very often, but if it does, you get to take one of these events cards, which typically helps you a lot uh, or hurt your opponents. Let's take a closer look. So for example, Velvet Foam, collect two extra dollars as a tip from a satisfied customer. Or Unhappy Patron, all other players discard their leftmost order card. Or we have Melted Ice, all other players discard all of their ice cards, time to refill the cooler. So they help you and hurt other people. Now, in the midst of all this craziness going on with these 10-second actions, some of these order cards have some events that might happen. That when They might pop up uh, like a shift change. All players move to the next shop clockwise, trade seats, but you keep your registers, meaning how much money you have, and reshuffle the order deck. So this makes everybody move. So if you were close to getting uh, an order done, ooh, it's really good for your opponent because you're going to change, you're going to be mad. Or you might get into a place that really stinks. It's kind of interesting watching people play musical chairs there. Line up the door. All players drop to four total order cards. This allows them to get have four instead of three just for that one time. And then once they get back down to three, they're, they're down at three. Spoiled milk. All players discard one milk and one non-fat milk. Rowdy customer. All players discard one order card and kick out the troublemaker. So essentially you lose an order card of your choice and then draw a new order card. Now, about two-thirds through, through each of these decks, the back fridge and the stock room, there is a delivery type event card where both of them essentially the person who drew this has to skip their next turn and while they're doing other people are making turns there they have to basically reshuffle the pile and then put this two-thirds through again so essentially you don't know which cards are not in the very bottom of the deck but once you get through this you'll have to you'll have to basically shuffle and we wait for him to shuffle at the end of that turn until it's done but those are interesting uh, ways to reshuffle and reset the decks and this continues on until the first person has gotten $50 into their register, which again, I don't have a prototype of that, but there is one in the game. So to give you a flavor of how fast and, and furious this game is, we're just gonna play a few turns here. So there we go. So I'm gonna use my, sh I'm gonna shuffle this, and that's all I need to shuffle for my one action because I'm trying to get this one, which I will have. So I'm waiting for this thing to get down, and boom. Now some other people might not have been done yet, so I could trade this in for $3, and I would take each one of the things that I needed out and they would go into the discard piles and then that was that so I would have made three dollars and this thing's going and now I'm looking around and think about what I might do next I don't have any espresso so boom I turn this over and I'm gonna take four cards two three three I ended up getting three of those and one of those oh just before the 10 second timer went on okay so I'm gonna use this to swap this with that and my second swap is going to be Ooh, this with this, this is nice because now I have this order done. And so now I can wait and breathe a little bit. It's pretty stressful. Boom, go like this, but it is fun. $4, I need two, X2, two of these cards. So one, two, and I need a whole milk in the middle and a not that milk. And I would have just made four bucks. Those would go into the discard pile. Ooh, just in time, as you can see, I'm going to use this to get more orders. That's going to be my action for this turn. And we have, okay, so double espresso ice chocolate this let's see what do i have that i can do okay let's try okay and boom the timer is gone so i'm going to do a, sw a swap and a swap which will maybe allow me to get this one done but i don't have a whole lot of other ingredients the timer is going time goes. boom hopefully someone else just got screwed and we have two dollars for this one we have uh, this middle one and this ice one, these would go into the discard pile and I would have just made $2 and I'm thinking about what I'm going to do next. So when this timer hits, I can flip it over and go there and then maybe I restock. I'm trying to get maybe some ice. So there's one. Ooh, ice. Good. I could put it wherever I want right there. Uh, ooh, another ice. And let's try. I need double espresso. Ooh, got double espresso and some more chocolate. So that was that round. Ooh, just in time. Let's flip this over and then we've got ice. Okay, so I'm just going to Ooh, I need milk. I need milk. So I'm going to ice, ice. I don't need any more ice. Ice, 
Ice. Oh, I am so screwed. Anybody want to give me ice? I'll give you two ices for a next turn. Okay, flip this over. Next turn, I've got, I, I, I'll trade away two ice for milk. So I traded away two ice. I got a milk and with somebody else. So that was my action. Somebody else is happy. I'm happy. And, oh, we're going to flip it. And I am going to swap this and this. Now I can create this one right here on my next turn. And we see the timer and you can hear me breathing heavy because this game is tense and fun. And we are waiting for this timer. Hopefully, we'll, boom, come on fast. Good. Somebody just gets through. So I have this, 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 and this. And those will get turned in. And I would make $4. And that's pretty much how the game is played. The first one to 50 wins. Whew. All right. There's Uptown Espresso from Break From Reality Games. Uh, this game's got a lot going for it, I think. Uh, First of all, it's easy to teach. Even though you have five actions you can take, it's not that overwhelming because they're just simple and easy to understand. So it's a game that you can teach very quickly. It's also a game that uh, it's hard to do these, I think, but it's, it's one of those games where since it's easy to teach, it lends itself up to a wide audience. You could be seeing this be played in a lot of coffee houses. I could see this game being like, the official Starbucks game. Like they may be approached by Starbucks and who knows, this thing would go bananas, but it's a good enough game that I could see this happening. But it still has enough there that gamers are interested in this. We sat down to play this and I gotta tell you, the real time component of this with the timer adds so much because you're all doing things in a frenzy. And thematically it makes sense. If you've ever seen a barista at Starbucks at like an airport running around like crazy, I've never been one, but I can imagine that Playing this game might be what it feels like because you're kind of stressed out, you're sweating, you're breathing heavy. I mean, it's fun and it's got a lot of stress and tension, but just enough to make it so it's not like crazy, but it's like, ooh, this is an interesting experience. So this little game packs a punch. It's fun, it's addictive. Changing chairs is always fun. Um, trading really quickly is fun and just making the drinks and trying to figure it out. It's kind of like a little bit of puzzle nature, trying to figure out to get everything in the right spot. But it plays quickly and it plays fun and I think it's got a lot going for it and I'm sure that Break From Reality Games would really appreciate your support. It's on Kickstarter right now. There's going to be a link that comes up just after this video right in the bottom. Go ahead and go to that link and I'm sure that if you're interested they would love your support. Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games, as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. Yeah. Yeah.